sitting pretty with a six-point lead in the women's ashes. <laughs> Australia has turned its attention to the red ball, ahead of next week's one-off test against England. Everyone's excited, obviously we don't play many test matches and we'd like to play a few more so um, we know that we've got a job to do in making sure that it's of high quality. But first they'll take on an England academy side in a three-day warm-up match at Marlborough College where the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, went to school. Beautiful school, the, the grounds are really nice and, and the buildings are really old school so I think everyone's looking forward to, to training here for a few days and then obviously the warm-up game. And a new member of the Australian squad has been inducted. Sophie Molyneux welcomed aboard. And just welcome Soph to the group, so well done mate, welcome. Just really nice to see her back amongst the group after she obviously had shoulder surgery and she's ticked all the boxes she can and hope she can put her hand up for the test match. The all-rounder only took part in light duties as the visitors ponder how many spinners they'll need to pick for the test. I think there's been a bit of chat around that. We've played a few games at Taunton in the past, um, whether it's with Australia or I've played a couple of games there with the KSL. So um, the wicket's generally pretty good, but if it's a bit dry, we think it'll take a bit more turn. But that's not to discount pace as the Aussie quicks were unleashed at training. The warm-up hit out starting Thursday an important chance to impress, with at least three Australians set to make their test debut on July 18 in Taunton.